What? Oh shit! It's a T-Rex! Hello and welcome back to Let's Play MHS 2. I'm your host, Mafu. So the last episode, we came across the terrifying wasp battle. We barely survived, but we made it past with a B rank for some ungodly reason. It should have been S, but I guess the game must have fucked up, bugged out. You never know. And I don't know where I'm going now. I think I'm looking for like an egg or something. It's somewhere in this cave. So we're going to explore it for a bit. Oh, what's that? Nothing. Explore it for a bit and see what we can find. I think we can get another Munsty from this place. Oh, double jump. Oh, shit. Double jump delicious. Okay. So, what we got here? Oh, I jumped over it. God, I cannot remember the keybinds. <laughs> Not even keybinds, controller binds. We ran into... Oh, a back attack. I didn't know we could do that. Naha, we snuck up on them. Who even says that? Who even says that? So, we're doing a sneaky beaky attack here. I didn't know we were doing a sneak attack. This is awesome. Here we go. Crouching target hidden slash. Oh, what? Oh, okay, right, okay. I was expecting backstab damage, but it's cool. It's cool. This thing's dead anyway. See you later, boss. You guys did not just see that. That definitely didn't happen. That wasn't like a complete counter to what I just picked. I've got that guy with speed for some reason. I don't know why. Together, there's nothing we can't do. Indeed. Indeed. All right, so what we get? I right, said, so bit fucking B. All right, all right. I vow never to get a B again in this game. And if I get a B again, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> I can't believe I got a fucking B there. Because I fucked up the head to head battle, I think. Right, so let's have a look at this map. Oh, Chester. Was there a chest there as well? How did that escape my grasp? Oh, it's literally right there. What the fuck? Oh, shit. What am I doing? Suicide. Suicide. Oh, it's right there. I must have just missed it. Hello, beautiful. So what was that? Life suit times two. And I'll take that as well. Bitter bug. Must be even more bitter now that I collected it. So let's double jump back to where we were. And then... How do I put the map again? Okay. So we need to go... Oh, that's the exit. So we need to go this way. Right. My navigation skills are anything to go by. We should be there in seconds. Absolute seconds. I'm going the right way, right? Yes, I am. Okay. <laughs> well, I'll double check. Just in case. You never know. You never know. Okay. So, chest over here. What have we got in this one? Earth Crystal times three. Okay. Monster Bone S. Very sexy bone, that one. Can I not pick that up? That looks cool. Like a frog. Weird. I can pick up pretty much every. I've picked up bugs for Christ's sake. Why can't I pick up a fucking frog? Oh, here we go. You see that monster, buddy? We're gonna have to beat it if we want to get our paws on an egg. Okay. Time to beat it to death. You what, mate? No one roars at me and lives to tell the tale. Time to meet your doom. It's a Velociraptor. These guys are quick and nimble. Any ideas? Kana, fucking Kana. Taught you how to take advantage of enemies' attack habits, right? Let's put it to good use. Thank you, cat. Thank you very much. So, as we found out, speed beats power. So, we're not going to do that again. But we will change our monster, actually. Fuck, I said it. God damn it. We'll change our dinosaur, actually, to uh, Kalu Yaku, because he does technical attacks. So, technical beats speed. God, I'm actually quite low on HP. Fuck, I didn't realize. Okay, I'm just going to flawless him anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Here we go. Oh my god, I'm attacking Doom! Holy fuck, damage. This fight's over. It's over. And I love her. <laughs> I know all your moves. I know every single one. You saw Rock Fruit Room. You could also switch to another monster and try for double. Yeah, okay, thanks for that, cat. Thanks for that. I think I've already done that. You're like 10 years behind me. We are technical attacking the crap out of this thing. Double tackle Doom! <laughs> This is going to be S+. Plus. Oh, yeah. Right on. Oh, I can ride on. I can ride on. Here we go. They see me riding. They're hating. Okay. Kinship ability. Explosion. Explosion. You bastard. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, shit. This is going to be crazy. What the fuck? <laughs> what? Oh god, it's shit, it's a bomb? 79 damage. You're still standing? What's this? 
Showdowns, especially showdown may uh, sometimes occur between monsters. Use the indicated actions such as pressing a button repeatedly to cheer your monster on. Damn it, I said it again. Besides dealing damage to the opponent, winning a showdown also fills up your kinship gauge by a substantial amount. Okay. Here we go, time to button bash. Three, two, this fight's over. I can't believe it's still standing. I hit it with everything. Nuclear bomb, fucking head-to-head -head battle. The technical, oh, double attack again. Here we go. Boom. Come on, you're gonna be dead now. How strong is this thing? I want this thing. Uh-oh, now it's mad. An angry monster will start changing up its attack pattern, so watch out. Enraged monsters use attacks that are different than their usual ones. They're too mad to think about strategy. Okay. So, if I was an angry monster, I'd probably use a power attack. So, I think I'm going to switch over to a speed monster. I almost said monster then. God damn it. It's growing on me. It's getting me. It's getting me. So, we're going to use speed on this as well. Here we go. Double attack of doom. Ha! Here we go. Double attack of doom. God, this is definitely an S. There's no two ways about it. It's going to be an S. It's, it can't not be an S. It's even weak. Look at it. <laughs> Boom! Another 19 damage. 24. Come on, you're dead. Nope. You, you want more? Do you want more? Come on, you're gonna be dead now. There we go. Delayed death. Now you are. You beat the Velocidrome. This just proves that you can take care of yourself without Kano's help. Damn right I can, cat. Looks like you got yourself a taste of what it means to be a rider, huh? I was born's ride, baby. Time for my S rank. Give me my S rank, please. I was literally like next to it. That is so savage. How did I not get that? At least it wasn't a B. I vowed to this day never to get a B again, so. <laughs> we did it, buddy. Time to pick an egg. Each nest has a bunch of different eggs in it, but you can only pick one to take with you. If it's a heavy egg that smells good, it probably has a rare monster inside. So obtaining eggs. Once the eggs can be found in monster dens, you can only carry one egg at a time, but you can swap it for another if you wish. An adult monster may come to back to its nest at any time, so be careful when you're carrying off the egg. Okay. Now the roo will assess any egg you pick up. The heavier and nicer smelling the egg, the better the odds of it having rare genes. Carry the egg out of the monster den and it will be yours. You can then hatch it at the stables. Okay. I think I've done this before, Mr. Cat. I think I've done this before. I've hatched many an egg in my time. Many an egg. Oh, should I loot this stuff before I touch it? Maybe I should. It's got whetstone. Got red mushroom. Oh, king trough I meant. Uh, what? It's exactly the same shroom, but it's a completely different type of shroom. I want that bug as well. Bit of bug. There we go. Okay. Let's do this. If you want to pick up an egg, you need to get off your monster first by pressing X. Right. Time to get off my dinosaur. Here we go. Time to get Charizard. Give me a sniff, doesn't really smell like much, and it's light too. You sure that's the egg you want? No? And again, another! Ooh, give me a sniff. Perm, kind of stinky, don't you, don't you thinky? Oh god, it's rhyming now, and it's light too. Kind of stinky, hmm. Let's not stick around for too long. Should I take the stinky one, or shall I go all in? It's, I mean, it's, it's sparkling. Fuck it, I'm taking it, see you later. Time for my omelettes. Omelette, du fromage. So where do we take this to then? So that's one you're going with. Let's head back to the village to hatch it. Uh, yep, leave. Okay, so I obtained a humble bird wyvern egg. That's not a Charizard. That does not sound like a Charizard to me at all. So let's jump back on this uh, dinosaur. And off we go back to the village. Off we go. How the hell do we get back? I wish there was like fast travel or something. Jump. Yeah. Okay. Off we go. I am home and I have brought you an egg. We're having omelette tonight. We're having omelette. So what do I need to do now? Report to Chief Gara. Chief Gara is somewhere over in this direction. According to the orange. Yeah. I think. I hope. Yeah, there he is. Thar he blows. What's this? Gotta have some what? Timid boy. Hey, Matthew, ever heard of dust rooms? They're mushrooms that only appear in late evening and night. See, I just don't feel very safe going at night. Could you look for some dust rooms for me instead? Of course I can, random citizen. Wow. This is what I'm all about. Seriously, yeah, you're so brave. <laughs> oh, God, he knows me too well already. He knows me too well already. What do you want, lady? You, you're fishing one-handed. It's pretty cool. Focused woman. 
I have this theory that there's a connection between the fish not biting in a surge in Banahabra numbers. Essex insects creep me out though. Would you mind thinning out the Banahabra swarm in South Kamuna for me? Uh, I, I suppose I could, yeah. I, I killed one of them in the last part. It was quite the battle. Um, it was pretty vicious. So take care of them. They don't grow you out. Oh, thank you so much, my food. Okay, so it's pretty much just random side quest dialogue that you get in Skyrim, pretty much. So, let's find out to this guy. Chief Gara. Hmm. Is he going to do it? Hey, you're back. No. How'd you like your first solo quest? It's pretty wild, right? Shut up, Kana. No one asked you nothing. I was worried you might get lost or something. I'm super glad to see you all in one piece. Yeah, I'm sure you are. Huh. Was it easy? You look completely unfazed. Yeah, I, I am unfazed. No your Red's grandkid. <laughs> Fucking Kana. <laughs> you even brought back an egg. Splendid work. Thank you, Grandpa. Oh, wow. You're right. Huh. I'm a better teacher than I thought. What? You didn't teach me nothing it apart from how to suck. Thanks to your teaching or because this is Red's grandkid. Aha. Uh -huh. I'm starting to like the cat now. Who cares? The newbie did a great job, and that's what counts. What do you newbie? think, Kana? They're ready for the next one, wouldn't you say? Uh, yeah. Really? Yeah, we are. Isn't it a little too soon for the rookie to handle alone? Oh. <sighs> Christ, I hope she gets hit by a truck. You should go with them too. Oh There's no. Why so serious, guys? Whatever it is, we can handle it. <gasps> We've had reports of some recent turf wars in the Pona grasslands. Oh yeah, the Pona grasslands. Turf wars? What's that? It's when monsters fight over territory. We've even found badly injured monsters in the grasslands. Mm. We can't just let them tear each other apart. It'll be bad news for the island's ecosystem if we do. Yeah, yeah. I'm all about the ecosystem. Let's get moving. I'll meet you at the edge of the village. Oh, crap. We're going to put up a Kano again. That's great. It's fucking fantastic. Fucking fantastic. So, Pona, Grasslands incident. With monsters now fighting over territory, there seems to be no end to the strange occurrences plaguing the island. Concerned about the terrible impact this could have upon the nature of the world, Chief Gara tasked you with heading to the Pona Grasslands to find out more. Yes. Battle Buddies. A Battle Buddy is an ally who fights alongside you. Use your skills and items. Generally offers you support and bad advice. Yes, that's Kana. Battle Buddies also have their own hearts. If either one of you loses all hearts, it counts as a defeat. Hearts will generate automatically when you return to location's headquarters. Okay. Right, so next thing we need to do is head to the Pona Grasslands. And before we do that, we need to hatch an egg, I think. So how do we do that? We got the stables? Okay, cat. Hatch my egg. Stable poor. Welcome back. Any egg is safe here in my paws. Why not hatch one? Oh, it's kind of cute, actually. Yeah, let's try hatching this egg. So we've got a humble bird, wife an egg. Acquired from Overlook Cave. Wait, light and smell is a good smell. Let's see what we get. Here we go. Oh my god, it's gonna be a Blastoise. Oh my god. A Velocidrome. Okay, I'll take that. Is that... Wait, don't I already have that? I'm pretty sure I already have that. Okay, let's take that. Manage Monsties. Go to Manage Monsties, change their names, or set Monsties to release them back into the wild. Press Y to register a Monsties as a favorite, and it will be shown at the top of the list. If you obtain a stable blueprint from Melenix Inc., you can expand your stables, enabling you to keep more Monsties. Okay. So, what's the difference between these, then? Um, this one has less damage and HP. But it has... Does it have a different ability? I don't think it does. Okay, there we go. Okay, I found the right menu. So, what well, can see, this one's level 3, this one's level 1, they're both the same rarity, they both have the same abilities, I think. Let me have a look at the genome info, I even have no idea what this does. Critical eye gene, okay, and this one's onslaught gene. Right, oh here we go, deals light non-elemental damage to one enemy, fairly high chance for critical hit, and this one is default Increases crit rate somewhat. Somewhat. I love those vague uh, terms. So I might as well just carry on with my Ramma. Maybe I should go for a better egg than this one because um, this one's exactly the same. Oh wow. Well. I'll make sure your monsters are bathed, well fed, and pampered. <laughs> just leave it to me. Fucking puns. Right, let's get out of here. Let's go to Pona Grasslands. Off we go on another adventure. Right, so we're back outside on top of our dinosaur with Kana. Is that her name again? Kana? So we need to head this way, I think. 
Oh, oh cutscene. Cutscene coming up. Right. Let's go check out where these turf wars have been happening. Sounds good. But what are we going to be checking out? Well, obviously we're going to find some monster tracks. <laughs> monsters leave traces behind wherever they go. We can follow those to wherever the monsters are now. Well, okay. But how are we supposed to follow a trail in such a huge area? No worries. I've got us covered. Ta-da! You ever hear <gasps> scout flies? Scout flies. You find the tracks? These little fellas will do the rest. They're evil. For real? And anyone can use these flashy things? Even my buddy over here? <laughs> of course. They're a vital part of any rider's toolkit. Here, take some. Don't mind if I do. Whoa. Whoa. Sparkly. I'll show you what to do once we find some tracks. Right. Yeah, great. Kana, ooh, amazing. <laughs> Can't wait to team up with her again. I was actually just thinking that, like, I really wish Kana was going to come on this adventure with me again, because um, I really miss having her around. So, tracking monsters. Monsters leave behind tracks such as torn up grass or dung. Scout flies can guide you to monster tracks with their light. Once you find enough tracks, the scout flies can lead you to the monster that left them. Okay. Scout flies will flash red and stop guiding you when spotted by a large monster. If you defeat the monster or get away from it, the scout flies will turn to normal. Right, seems simple enough. Let's find some tracks. Once we found enough, the scout flies will do the rest. Alright, thanks, that, Kana. Pretty sure I got the tutorial. I'm pretty sure I got the tutorial, Kana. It looks like the scout flies picked up on something and there must be some tracks nearby. What the fuck's that? Okay, Kelby Corn. What are you? Oh, ah, oh, what? He just went for a fucking wall. That's cheating. That's absolute cheating right there. Can't just go for fucking walls. That's right, Karen looting. Where am I going? Scout flies. What are we scouting? What's that? Sparkling. Sparkle, sparkle. Stone? Thank you. So, we're gonna go up here. Or here, there we go. Okay, so we found one track so far. <laughs> we're off to a good start. Oh, over here. Any more? Any more? Yes, there is, okay. And here as well. Jeez, Christ. It's gonna take a while. Uh... Here as well. Gee, just so greedy, aren't you, Fireflies? The Scoutflies picked up a monster's trail. Here we go. Now we just have to follow the light. Follow the light it is. Okay, so it's going this way. Fuck off, okay, Kane. Ugly face off the screen. Well, not really ugly. It's better looking at my character. But still, it's a pain in the ass. Bane of my existence. Hmm. So where is it taking me? Oh shit, gonna avoid that. That'll get me. That'll get me. Got these bad boys. Where is it? Up, oh, up there, up on the cliff. Oh, I actually missed that completely. I was trying to pick up the bow and I skipped past the dialogue. What do you want me to do? So you want me to go up there? So I need to go around, I think, to get there. Ah, oh, this game. Making me travel with my dinosaur. Ooh. Golden Fragment. Get my way, dinosaurs. Places to be. Places to be. These things are massive. Oh, is this the right one? No. Can I get past that? Oh, it's friendly. It's not even trying to kill me. What a nice little dinosaur. Little. <laughs> oh, here we are. Here we go. Another cutscene? Oh. Jesus. Kind of eats like me. God damn cat. Uh oh. I think it's angry. Got a feeling. 
Right, time to duel to the death, random bird thing again. Yikes, it spotted us. Switch out quick. Switch out to what? What, my monster? Should I listen to Kana? I think I should. Right, so Kulu Yaku is out. Time to show this guy who's boss. I'm guessing it might be speed. Are you looking he's technical? Right, I'm gonna go for power anyway. Oh my god, double attack! Oh, it wasn't me, that was K now. God damn it. Why am I cheering on? Okay. So, I still haven't seen what attack does. I'm going to keep using power for now. He's selecting... Oh, he's targeting the... Um, what's it called? Abmar. Kana's pet. Yeah, so he's technical. Fireball. Oh, God. He hits pretty hard. Shit, that was a big hit. That was a big goddamn hit. Focus, slash T. Shut off, Kana. Damn it. At least my bird's doing work. Right, so he's targeting Kana now, thank god. Hope we can annihilate her out of existence. Uh, yep. Killer strike, yeah! What my dinosaur's all about. 13 damage. Ooh. Focus HP. Damn it, Kana. She uses so many attacks. I haven't even like, raised my gauge up once yet. She's riding. She's right. Oh, it's attacking me now. Okay, here we go. Power attack. I got this. I'm gonna win the head to head. She always has to be in the spotlight, I swear. Put you out of commission. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> really? I didn't even get to win my head to head? Fucking Kana. Fucking stupid Kana. Right, another power attack. Stone shield? Why are you doing that? Whatever. It's a bird, it doesn't know any better. Okay, big damage going out there. 29, that's the highest damage there. Power flash, here we go. There can be only one. Right, so. It's targeting the bird. So I'll go for another power attack. I thought I'd mix it up a bit. You know, I've only been um, using other attacks. So I thought I'd go for a power attack this time. Okay, draw. Oh, it did quite a lot of damage. Hulu. Hulu Yaku. The Yain Kutku is enraged. Pay attention, it's going to use different attacks now. So I'm guessing it's going to result to power attacks. We'll switch to the monster. Fuck's sake, the dinosaur to Ramma. <laughs> so here comes Ramma. Uh, and I'll go for speed attack as well for the double attack juiciness. Here we go. Killer strike! Ooh, big damage crit. So, let's see if it's power. Oh, he uses speed now. Okay. That's interesting. I'll switch back then. I'll switch back. Okay, Kuriyaku is out. Should we ride? Are we riding dirty? I thought we're riding dirty. Okay. I have mounted the beast. Time to kinship this guy out of existence. Time to get my S tier. Explosion! <laughs> this animation though. <laughs> Ninety-four damage. Wow, that's a big hit there. One hundred fifty-eight. Easy. Wasn't even scared for a second. Did he even do any damage? It's retreating. Let's go after it, buddy. Okay. Nice one, buddy. Cool. So that's in my ST rank. So I got overpower now because so I leveled up. What does that do? High chance slightly lower all elemental attack for all enemies for three turns. Okay, so it's got debuff. Rocket launcher, that sounds fun. Deals light non-elemental damage to one enemy. Cool. Right, S rank, please. To be fair, to be fair, mate, that wasn't my fault. I had K9 in the fucking battle, right? 
She's the reason I got the B. I said I'll never get a B again solo. So in a duo, it doesn't count. <laughs> when a monster retreats, its den will show up somewhere in the field. It's a great chance for you to grab an egg. Each monster has different conditions that make it retreat, but a paintball works well against any opponent. Most monsters will be more likely to retreat if they are hit with a paintball before you defeat them. So retreating. Sometimes when you defeat a monster, it will get back up and return to its den. It's called a retreat. It's a great chance to get an egg from that monster. When a monster retreats to its den, it will be marked on the map, pay it a visit and snag an egg. There are many ways to make a monster retreat, but most will be more likely to retreat if they're hit with paintball. See the monsterpedia for tips. Right, okay. When a monster retreats from battle, that's your chance to get your paws on a new monster egg. Okay. I know the score. I know how to do this. Let's go inside the Yunikutku den. So we're inside the Yunikutku den. Let's have a look around. So the egg's over here. Let's check down this one quickly, see if there's any chest. Give me that loot! God damn it! God damn it! Where's all my loot, guys? Where's all my loot? Oh, I want one! Why can't I pick these up? They're cool! <laughs> Put it in my pocket! Uh, I'm gonna skip past some of these fuckers. Because I fought them before and I'm a bit like, ah, you know? Kano can deal with them. Peasants work for a peasant. Oh, it's here as well. That monster is out cold. Let's try not to wake it. It needs its beauty sleep. Says the fucking cat that broke the twig. Okay, so loot around quickly. Grab that. Grab this. Hint of this. Smidgen of that. Uh, I'm kind of spamming A and walking towards stuff. Oh, what's that? Yeah, cool. Paint berry, okay. I think we've everything we need. Here we go. Okay. Hey! Give me a good egg! Give me a sniff, doesn't really smell that much, and it's like two, confirm. Oh no, the eggs, they are all gone? What, I only grabbed one? Well, that really sucks. See you later, bird. Thanks for your egg. <laughs> this game is so savage, you literally just go, we better get back to the village and tell Chief Gara we took care of the monster in the grass, grass lands. It's getting so savage, you're literally going to like monsters' nests, stealing their babies, and taking them with you to train them. Pretty sure it's not very ethical. Oh, hey, check that out. Check what out? There's, there seems to be a cat with a hat on. Safely taking Mew anywhere, Mew want to go. That's the Catavan guarantee. <laughs> the Catavan can instantly transport you to locations you have visited before. Also, Catavan stand. The Catavana can also save your progress for you. Oh, okay, this is pretty useful. Press A near Catavan stand to use the service. The Catavan is also accessible from the camp menu. Press Y when in map mode to open the Catavan menu. Note there that there are some situations in which you cannot use the service, for example, when you're carrying an egg. Convenient, that, isn't it? I knew it. Ever ridden on a Catavan, buddy? It's not the smoothest ride, but it'll take you wherever you want to go. Once you access a Catavan stand somewhere, you can go back to that location anytime. Pause down the best way to travel. <laughs> It makes getting around much easier. Uh, how about we try it out right now to get back to Mahana Village? Right, Kena. Not like I was going to do that anyway. I sure hope it's a smooth ride. Yes, I hope so too. Right, so I obtained a burning bird wyvern egg. Let's go to the Catavan thing. You wish to travel to Mahana Village, police. Make yourselves comfortable. <laughs> we'll be there in no time at all. Right, so let's save the game. Okay, save complete. And then let's ride the catavan. This has this work. Let's click on it. Here we go. Wow. <laughs> it threw us off. Jesus. Okay, so we need to report to, report to Chief Gara, who's over here again. Hmm. As he normally does. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. Hello. There you go, young boy. Have that. Turn in. So deliver. Yep. What'd I get? I said deliver. Yep. What'd I get? Quest complete. Level up one monster. Oh shit. I should have probably grabbed the other monster first before I did this. Do you realize it levels up the monsters? So loads of blue mushrooms. Wow. Thank you. Hmm. These mushrooms are very small. Don't look edible. But just holding them makes me feel a little braver. If you find any more, can you bring them to me? I'll leave a note on the quest board for you. So it's kind of like a repeatable quest, I guess. Let's see what Gara has to say. Chief Gara! Whoop. Yes, we are indeed, Cat. Glad to see you're all right. So, 
How was it? It was horrifying. Kenna talked to me and she said loads of things. And she's a cocky little bitch. Who? We think that was the one stirring up trouble. Oh yeah, and there's a dinosaur as well. Mm. A young kutku, huh? Oh, that's how you say it. A young kutku. No worries though. My buddy here gave it wet for and even brought back an egg. Yeah. Damn right, Dad. We're able to hold your own, huh? Well done. <laughs> I didn't expect this day to come so soon. But I think it's time to have the barriers taken down. The barriers? Chief. Chief. I'll make the arrangements at once. Until that's finished, please continue with your investigation. I will, Grandpa. Nice going, newbie. Who are you going, newbie? Oh, Fuck Kana. This is a really big deal. Taking down those barriers means you have permission to go see Guardian Ratha. Oh, great. That's my buddy for you. Even the chief is starting to see how great you are. Damn right he is. Get started. Meet me in the center of the village when you're ready to set out. He felt the crap out of my face. He obviously knew how much potential I had by doing that. Hey, buddy. I spotted a suspicious me lynx over by the harbor before. Me lynx. That's how you say that as well. Okay. What do you say we go check him out while Kana is setting things up? Sounds like a plan, cat. Sounds like a plan. Let's do this. So, suspicious me links. You prove yourself as a rider by fending off a Yon Kutku. Recognize your bravery. Chief Gara includes you in the Guardian Rafa or Rafa investigation. Now the time has come for you to set foot in the Guardian Rafa woods. Okay. So, we need to talk to the suspicious me links, which is over here by the orange. Hello, suspicious me links. What do you have to say? Whatever you're looking for, I promise you'll find the perfect item from Melix Inc. Hmm, smells fishy to me. Our current item is positively indispensable in expanding your stables. If you want it, we take bottle caps. Sounds like a bargain, except we don't have any caps. They're easy to find if you can make the long trip into the South Comuna Everden. That's the meow on the street anyway. <laughs> Doesn't sound awfully reliable to me, but a treasure's hunts right up my alley. Let's ask Kana for directions. Oh, not Kana again. Perfect. Bring me those bottle caps. Yes, cats, I will. Even though I just met you. So, talk to Kana again. <sighs> Let me go hatch my egg first, Kana. So, we've got a burning bird wyvern egg. We have a Yun Kutku den. Oh, wait, that's not the name of the thing. That's the name of the place I got it from. Anyway, it's light and it has a regular smell. Let's open this bad boy up. Come on. Give me something good. It's a Venusaur! Yes! Max HP 1. Okay. It's a young cuckoo. Nice! Okay, I got my very own Firebird. Don't mind if I do. Don't mind if I do. So, what do I do with it now? God, it's quite low level, actually. Is it in my team already? Are these all in my team? How's this work? Okay, it's mainly technical, predominantly technical. I need a power attacker. Uh, oh, here we go. So, party monsters. Swap monsters in your party with others from stables. Press uh, select to register a uh, frequently used party lineup as a preset. Presets make swapping out your entire party quick and easy. Okay. Let's put this into our party. Put it there. Okay. So, it has special abilities. So, we've got Nest Search, Monster Search, Rock Breaker, and this one's got Jump. Okay. They've all got different abilities. Right, let's get the fuck out of here. See that cat? Right, let's have a look at the quest board. See if there's anything we can turn in. And there's quite a lot. So turn in delicious donuts. Uh, how many you need? Three of each. Okay, deliver. Ooh, level it up already. Level three. God, that's quick. Real quick. Seems like only a minute ago. I got it. Seems like only a minute ago. Turn this as well. Uh, how much you need of this? Oh, is this one just repeatable? Wait. If I take away one of those. Deliver! Aha! Another level up. God damn strong. So it's now got a fireball, sweet. Okay. Yep, yeah, take that. Uh, turn this one as well. Oh my god, look at me go. Look at me go. I'm unstoppable. Absolutely unstoppable. Nothing's stopping me. Nothing. Another? Another! I didn't even see what the wall was for that one. I'm skipping through now. <laughs> so I've got loads and loads of quests here. I'm just going to set them all. Uh, they're mostly just side quests anyway, so I don't think I... Oh, I've completed that one already. 
God damn, good at this game. I complete quests even when I don't even know I have them. It's crazy. Give that one as well. Nice, okay. Oh, another one. Another? Another! Okay, so what do we need to do? Boss of Prey on that one. Turn a quest for that one off Charm Stone. Be ten of them. Uh, rarity thingy. Conchu. What's a Conchu? And combine enough items. Dust rooms. That's a repeatable one, isn't it? Oh, fuck. I've really... Yeah, I banned that one. So this is, yeah, okay. So they're repeatable. Okay, I get it now. And this is a scepter as well. Okay, cool. Cool. Let's get the fuck out of here. Oh, where's Kana? Kana? Let's go. Let's go, ho. The south side of the island, huh? I was just getting ready to head there myself. Perfect. <sighs> We've got a date with an Everden. Yeah, yeah, Wait, we do. You mean the South Kamuna Everden? That place has kind of a notable history, you know. What, what kind of history? Something bizarre happened there years ago. Right in the very depths of the den. Oh. Something bizarre? There was a big fuss about a huge monster showing up there. The village sent some riders to investigate. And what did they, they find? They never came back. In the low light, they could just make out a monster with pale white whiskers and shimmering blue eyes. It's a mouse. White whiskers and blue eyes? It's a werewolf. The hulking, tanned creature was dancing around the den. It's a... Uh, a dancer? A tanned monster? <laughs> Did it dancing around the den? What kind of monster was this? White whiskers, blue eyes, nice tan? Was it a cat? That sounds just like Chief Gara. <laughs> yeah. Turns out that's what it was. <laughs> God. Uh, huh? You've got to be kidding me. How could they mistake him for a monster? Quite easily, I, I reckon. Know, right? Complete lack of respect. He just laughed it off. But the riders who'd hyped themselves up for a battle didn't find it so funny. <laughs> that dance must have been pretty peculiar to fool everyone like that. Nobody had ever seen a human move like that before. He was more like a fanged beast. Yeah, I don't think I've ever seen uh, a grandpa move like that before either. Whoops. Now I'm starting to sound disrespectful. Anyway, how about we get going? Yeah, shut up, Kay, let's go. Here's hoping we don't run into any actual monsters. That was like the most stupidest story I've ever heard in my life. I've heard some stupid stories in my life. <laughs> right, so let's go back on the trail. Look for bottle caps in the Everden. Off we go. Off we go. Let's go out in the afternoon this time. Mix it up a bit. Right, so we're back on our dinosaur. Let's head towards the orange. Off we go on another adventure. This is going to be positively amazing, as I would say in uh, Monster Hunter stories too. Um, okay. Some more wasps. Do I need to kill these things for a quest? Fuck it, I'm taking them down. Let's go. Let's go, guys. Fight to the death. Time to battle. So, Banara, ba, ba, oh, fuck it. I can't pronounce that. <laughs> Ban Habra can weaken their foes. Right, so what do they do again? Technical attacks, isn't it? I think it's technical. Do I have anything that does um, power? I don't think I do. No, I don't. Technical beats speed, right? So I probably should pick something that's going to draw them. I'll pick the newbie. Let's go, random bird. Okay, so let's go power attack. They're both targeting me at the same time. So I'm going to taste their own medicine. Oh! Double attack, here we go. I think I can... Whoa, that's a big hit. Jesus Christ. I'm definitely getting S tier here. Definitely gonna be S tier. Kana can pull her weight a bit. Ugh, gross. Yeah, I bet I can speed up the uh, combat a bit. Yeah, I might do that. Let me see. So on the top left corner, I can bring it up to times three. Let's try it. Boom! Shit! Okay, that's pretty fast. <laughs> wow, big hit. Big hit. Yeah, I quite like the speed. I think I'll turn it up for like the trash encounters like this. I'll turn it down to like two or something for the more intense encounters. So I can see through more of the animations. <gasps> My first S! I did it! 
and I was carrying the shit out of that crappy Kano as well. Fuck me, I am amazing at this game. I am the ultimate monster hunter. I don't think it's been a better monster hunter than me, to be fair. <laughs> right, let's go. Let's go hunt some monsters. <laughs> so, ooh, cutscene. That's the evidence. Thanks for that, Kana. Portal caps can be found inside treasure chests in these special monster dens. There are multiple evidence in each area. Their locations don't change. Some evidence, con evidence contain more treasure than others. Okay. Cool. So, let's go inside and explore. What are we looking for? Bottle caps. Is that what we're looking for? I feel like I'm playing Fallout again or something. Right, so, okay, we made it into the Everden. Now, let's see if we can find ourselves some bottle caps. Yep, we're definitely playing Fallout. Gonna find some ghouls as well. Need the uh, 80s. Is it 80s music or 60s? I can't remember now. 60s music, I meant, not 80s. <laughs> or was it even 50s, actually? I can't actually can't remember what, what uh, decade the music's from. Um, okay, so, kind of searching around, I can quick heal as well, LB, okay, good to know, chest on the left here, out my way, Dinosaur, oh, motherfucker, I thought I was swerving past him, but I guess not, oh, two little ones as well, so, do, 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 do. oh, power attacking, okay, can I see who you're targeting, I don't think I can, can I, no, Oh, I attacked the big one. Oh, look at the speed, though. I hate my life so much. I'm pretty sure I'm getting a B from this. But I'm still going to blame it on Kana. Just because I keep forgetting that this thing's speed. So I need to use technical attacks on it. Let me change out my dinosaur. I'll bring out the weird looking bird. Ah! Okay, let's uh, get a bit technical here. Just try a bit technical. Oh, now she's healing me as well as rubbing my face. A double attack though. Got those little ones like die really quick. Oh, so the boss are playing with like little ones. Okay, that's what I was getting really confused why they like had different names, even though they're the same thing. So the little ones are called Velocity Prey, and the big ones were called um, uh, Velocity Drone. Yeah. That makes sense. Power crash! Oh shit, you're strong. Whew. Christ! That was quite the hand workout. Whew. Christ almighty. Oh, I've weakened him. Let's hit him where it hurts. <laughs> yeah, nothing we can't do indeed. Right, let's level up that. Can go in. A tier, okay. It's to be accepted. I had Kano with me, so. She was fucking up as always. <laughs> she picked the wrong attack. Ooh. Riding action swim. When riding in a monster steed that can swim, enter water from a shallow point and press B to start swimming. You can only enter and exit the water from a shallow point, not via cliffs or ledges. Buddy, I don't think we have to... I think we do. I think I know my monster better than you do, cat. Okay? Get in there and fucking swim. All right, all right, fine. All right. I don't want to swim anyway. Not today. So there's chests on the other side of that which I can't get to because I do not have the right monster apparently. This, look at it, this thing's got massive arms. It could easily swim. It definitely doesn't look like a raptor at all. So we're going right or top? I'm going to go top. I've got a good feeling about this. I feel like I'm going to find the ultimate Pokemon slash Temtem slash uh, dinosaur. Maybe not if I don't go the right way. So, through here, Ooh, need that. Toadstool, Christ. Don't leave home without them. Ooh, a pig? Pumbo, is that you? Where's Timon? Oh shit, it's charging me. All right, that's it. You wanna fight? I'll fight. Oh, it wasn't even one that charged me. Is this a sneak attack? No. So, Bull Fango, let's turn the speed down to two so we can see the animations a bit. Right, so, I reckon they're power attacking. <clears throat> so we need speed. Why are you using a power attack, Ranmar? Ranmar? Oh shit, you need speed and I picked fucking power attack. I've done it again! Stop it. Uh, let's take down this one. Knew it. Boom, look at that. Defeated already? Ugh. Weakling. Absolute weakling. Bullfango goes with a power attack. Bullfango. Uh, let's go for this one. 
Who is, who is that even attacking? Oh, I feel kind of sorry for it. I feel kind of sorry. It's also kind of making me crave bacon a bit. But I do feel quite sorry for it. Bacon damage. 47. Another S tier coming up. God damn. Like, when you S tiering this many times in a row, it's just. <laughs> it's crazy. Absolute crap. Oh, he actually is an S tier. What the fuck? I thought I did really badly. Take all that. Thank you very much. So we defeated the vicious pigs. I almost said bulls then. I don't know why I wanted to say that. Grab that. Grab this. Grab that. Are we still going the right way? Yeah, we're heading to a chest. I smelt it a mile away, that chest. I'm all about the loot. Delicious. Juicy. Loot. Here we go. One mushroom. Mahana Dunker? Oh, donuts. Okay. I did say I was hungry out there, but I was hungry for bacon, not so much donuts, but... As always, beggars can't be choosers. So, we need to go back round to the other place. Right, so we're back on the trail. Heading through. Looking around for these bottle caps that I completely forgot about. There's a chest up there. Hmm. God damn, I can't swim, can I? Oh, I can cross it, though. Uh, I'm not above that than that. Ain't worth my time. Okay, chest. Let's go. Oh, big jump. Give me the loot. So, I just obtained Kulu Arrow. So, I found a bow. I think that is. Okay. Is that equipped automatically or do I need to equip that? Equipment. Uh, select equipment from the camp menu to arrange your weapons, armor, and talismans. Equipment in different gear can improve your attack and defense or allow you to use different skills. Okay. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. So let's equip the bow. Okay. Can I? Oh, did I have to take that slot up? Okay. Can I not put it in here? Oh, I can. Okay, so I can equip that to three weapons. Got that. Oh, I didn't realize I had this. Negates blind, infrequent chance for activation. Well, this is fantastic, isn't it? Infrequent chance of. <laughs> What's the point? It's not going to negate it all the time. What's the point weighing that? Works 5% of the time, every time. Right, so, where am I going now? Egg over here, so we're going towards the egg. So I haven't found any bottle caps, though. Am I not looking hard enough? I'm sure they'd be in a chest, wouldn't they? Ah, uh -huh, okay, I see. Chest there as well. Let's go, follow me, Kana, you fucking noob. I don't want to alarm anyone, but there seems to be a pig staring at me. What's that huge, looming shape? Ch Chief Gara? Nope, it's Bulldrome. We can't go bottle, hunt, bottle cap hunting with that thing in here. We've got to chase it out. Let's go, buddy. Right, let's go eat some bacon. What are you looking at, pig? Ooh. Eyes of death. Here we go. Times two the speed. My whistles are getting all tingly, and that's never a good sign. Hey, don't lose confidence now. We've got what it takes to deal with the bull drone. My whistles never lie. I'm telling you, this place is trouble. No time to hesitate, we're going to take down this bull drone. Yeah, exactly. Once, for once in my life, I agree with Kana. You know, she's a bitch. So, everyone's power attacking. I'm going to go for speed here, though. Because this thing's a power attacker. Speed attack on Doom! Ho ho! Boom! 185. God damn. Destroying it. Absolutely destroying it. I'll put the speed up a bit. Uh, another! Okay. Seem to be absolutely annihilating it, as always. Power charge, what's that? Another speed attack. Double attack from Kana. He's actually doing something for once. She's riding as well. How did she get a ride up so quick? It's crazy. Crazy. Wow, it skipped the whole animation. Right, let's put this on two again. Too much is going on. My whiskeys have gone to Tinker Town. There's something here just waiting to pounce. What's going into you? There's nothing here but us and the ball drone. Let's finish this. Yeah, exactly. Shut up, cat. No one asked you nothing. Really, you power attack? This thing should be almost dead. Oh, power, here we go. What? Oh, shit! It's a T-Rex! What the? Where did this guy come from? I... I don't know. 
Son of a Gun Lance is an Anjanef? I told you there was something else here. This is no time to gloat, we've got to get out of here. Yeah, this thing looks pretty angry, it looks pretty pissed off. Like someone stole the last donut. Right, let's put this on speed one. So who do I go for here then? Do I go for the pig or do I go for the Anjanef? Or I can pick. I attack here as well, I think. Nose or... Oh, I can't. Let's go for the pig. Burning Blast. Oh, shit! I hate Slayers, but I don't think we're ready to take on this monster this strong yet. <laughs> Speak for yourself, Kana. I've done this many times. Flash Bomb? Now's a chance to escape. Really? I had it! I completely had that! That thing was fucked! We got away. Just, I was about to tame it. I was going to ride on it and everything. Phew, we got away. Oh. We should be safe now. She's talking. I didn't realize. Basket of bitter bugs. What was that thing? <laughs> I was expecting a dancer, not some kind of raging nightmare. Look, just calm down. I'll explain. That was an Anjanath. It's a fierce monster for sure, but it usually keeps its distance from humans. I have a feeling this is all connected somehow. We'd better head home and warn everyone. Yeah, we better. Sounds like a plan. Let's skedaddle. <laughs> oh, this stress isn't good for my heart. Stupid cat. Naviru, wait. That's a dead end. Hey, who's the navigator here? You really think I wouldn't? Huh? Buddy, are you seeing this too? A treasure chest? Oh. Looks like that shady Meelinx was telling the truth after all. Grab the bottle caps and let's get out of here. That's how many twice. Let's go. Time to get some bottle caps. I'm still on fire, apparently. Oh, nice find that Milinx uh, back in the village trades in bottle caps as pay them a visit. But since we came all this way, we might as well take an egg too quick before the Andernaf comes back. Right. Oh, shit. I'm still on fire. And it's glitching out and shit. God, Christ. Am I going to die? I feel like I'm going to die. Should I heal? I'm scared. I'm so scared. Let me just heal up a tiny bit. I'm on 2 HP. Should I heal up the dinosaur as well? Alright, if Kana dies, I don't really care. Wait, wait, wait. Is she, oh, it's only if she uses, loses all her hearts. That's when I lose as well, I think. Okay, let's get an egg. Come on, something good, please. Give me an Andernaf. Give me a sniff, doesn't really smell like much, and it's light too. Oh no, the eggs are- what? All gone again? I bet it's the fucking pig now. Let's move some really shit. <sighs> One day I'll have an Andernath. I'll take over the world. So I obtained a humble fanged beast egg. Alright, we got a pause on some bottle caps. Time to visit that Malinx. Uh, from the camp menu, you can call a catavan to return to the village anytime you want. Yeah, I knew that cat. Get out of my way. Alright, so how do I do this? So Catavan stands Y. There we go. Easy. Don't need no fucking cat to tell me what to do. <laughs> so gentle. So goddamn gentle. So let's go hatch this egg. I want to see what it is. Very curious. Extremely curious. Welcome back. Any egg safe for my paws? Yep. Let's hatch this bad boy. That's what we got. Come on. Come on. Is it a Mewtwo? A ball drum, that's what I'm gonna take from my tongue. So we've got a pig. Nice. Take that. And let's add it to the party. Oh, it's a power attacker as well. Hello, pig. Hello. Sweet. So we now have two technical attackers, one speed and one power. All right, so I just went to the blacksmith to see if I could get any more weapons. I came across Gun Lance. So Gun Lance is a pierce type weapon which fires shells. You got more ammo each turn when you head to head. Energy extra ammo. The amount of ammo determines which skills can be activated. Use the skill to win a head to head for a big charge to the kinship gauge, but normal attacks won't fill the gauge. The gauge? I can't say it. Max out the kinship gauge to use Wyvern's Fire. This special skill uses up the entire kinship charge, but it's extremely powerful and hits some opponents. Okay, it sounds pretty cool actually. That one sounds quite like a technical kind of weapon. I like that. I like it. So, can we actually make anything now? How much money have we got? 7,200. So, none of these really seem like upgrades to what I have already. Um, I guess I could make a gun lance. Maybe I'll wait for a bit again. See if I get anything better. 
Yeah, I haven't got anything in stock here either. Okay. See you later, blacksmith. Let's go speak to this cat. Mysterious cat. Oh yes, the authentic bottle cats, thank you. Feel free to purchase anything that takes your fancy. So, Malinx Inc. is an exclusive shop which you can exchange bottle caps for rare items. Bottle caps can be found in evidence or obtained as uh, subquest rewards. Right, so I'll pass on the bottle caps to my guild Meowster. All in a day's work for Malinx Inc. <laughs> so, if you're proposing any more, please bring them to me at Malinx Inc. for more special rewards. There's at least one evidence in each field. Think of all the bottle caps always in a curious cat. Oh, I can't wait to gather them all up and reap the rewards. Count us in. Okay. So, all right, back to Kana. We got to tell the riders about the appearance of an Anjanath. Yes, we do. But that is the end of part two. Like, subscribe. We'll see what I have to say about the Anjanath in part three. Take care.